Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to add or display image using ACF plugin in WooCommerce WordPress in single product page. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are in WordPress dashboard, and we are going to display image in single product page in WooCommerce WordPress. So scroll down on left side, you see plugin. So click on Add New. So we are going to install plugin. Then in Search plugin, write Advanced Custom Field. So this is plugin Advanced Custom Field we are using. So you will install this plugin and activate it. And after activation, on left side you see ACF. So click on it. Then you see Field Group. So you can create field group according to your requirement. So I already created. Now you see custom product field. So we are going to add image box. So click on edit. Then scroll down. We already added two field product brand, product color. So we are going to add image. Now you see add field. So click on it. And then you see browse field. So click on it. Now search here image. So we are going to add image. Now you see image. So select. And then click on select field. Now you see field type image. And then you see field label. So you can add name according to your requirement. So image. So this is our field label. And then you see field name. Image auto generated. When we added field label. So we are going to use field name in custom code. And then you see return format. So we are selecting image array. And then click on save changes. Now scroll down, you see setting and then you see rules, show this field group if post type is equal to drop down product, so you can select product, so we are going to display images in single product page and then click on save changes, now image field is added and in custom code we are going to use name attribute image, now go to product. And then you see web task and black. So click on edit product. So this is our custom field product brand and product color. Now go to edit product. Now scroll down. You see custom product field. And then you see product brand. We already added text. And then you see product color like white. And then you see image. Now click on add image. So you can select image according to your requirement. So we are using this image and then click on select. Now you see image is added and then click on update. So currently image is not showing because we not added code for this image to display in single product page. Now product updated done. Go to product page and refresh the page first. Now you see web task and wild show. But image not show. Back to did product. So we are going to add custom code. On left side you see plugin. So click on add new. So we are going to install plugin to add some custom code. Then in search plugin. Write WP code. So this is plugin WP code. Insert adder and footer we will use. So you will install this plugin. And activate it. And after activation. On left side you see code snippet. Then you see add snippet, so click on it. Then you see add your custom code, so again click on it. Now you see create custom snippet section open. Scroll down, you can add title here, then you see code per view. On right side you see code type, drop down select PHP snippet. And then you will add code here. So I already added code. Scroll down, on left side you see code snippet, so click on it. And then you see custom snippet activated. Now you see status. So click on edit. Now you see custom code. And then in code you see if get field product underscore brand back to ACF plugin. Now you see name attribute product underscore brand back to code. Now you see we used product underscore brand product underscore brand and then you see product underscore color. Back to ACF plugin. Now you see product underscore color. We are using in custom code. 
so now we are going to add code for image now we are going to add now paste so this is code for display image in single product page now you see name attribute image back to acf plugin now you see image so we are using this name attribute in custom code now you see image and this code is for image array back to image now click on edit now scroll down you see return format image array back to code so we added this code and you will find all code in video description or in comment section so you can customize code according to your requirement now you see we added class if you want you can add custom styling to text now scroll down you see insert method auto insert location run everywhere on top you see inactive now active now you see status active and then click on update now snippet updated go to single product page now you see web task and white now refresh the page now you see our custom product field image show now here you see back to code so we are going to add break line now you see now close this php and then start again now add here break so if you want you can add break line now you see and then click on update now snippet updated done go to product page and refresh the page now you see break line added and also you see our custom product field and image show above title if you want you can show this below title with price below rating now back to code and then in code you see hook position and then you see number so you can increase number position like 15 click on update now snippet updated done go to product page and refresh the page now you see our custom field with image show below rating so you can change position according to your requirement and you will find this code in video description or in comment section so you can add more field according to your requirement and then you can copy paste this code and then change only name attribute like this so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching